Welcome. Twenty thirteen is unlucky for some. Oh, that's a tiny door. Sorry, Taylor. Welcome to hell. We are trapped on this side. We're segregated. There is too much food on that side. Six people. The whole idea is that they don't have stuff, but we do. tonight to join two housemates in holy matrimony. Only problem is our bride and groom have never met, so that should go really well. We we're also going to show you a secret room the housemates don't even know exists yet, and we'll discover what's so unusual about the late comers Big Brother's planning to put in the house. But first, 12 housemates entered, six landed in luxury, six were dumped in a dive. Here's a quick reminder of how the Great Divide works. Welcome Hello. to the safe house, to a house of luxury. Oh, yes. Your unfortunate neighbours have no kitchen and no food. It is completely up to you when and how much you feed them. They have the only house laundry. Therefore, it is up to you to hand them your dirty washing. <laughs> The halfway house are not allowed to refuse your washing requests. Oh. <laughs> Lastly, you are forbidden from attempting to scale the fence or squeeze through the bars in any way. Housemates, enjoy. Thank you, Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. That Thank is you. all. Don't you love it? Big question is. Has the division in the house created division in the house? Well, you bet it has. Let's go live now and see how the lucky ones in the safe house are getting on. Bad that I make like Sharon and Ed do everything. But they love it. Are they okay, like the mum so there's the a dad? bit of a barbecue yeah. happening. Tim well, and Heidi are, are cooking up party. a storm. I think they've got some <laughs> skewers there by the look of it. And Jaya's... And Why Tim, just so you know, he hasn't now. stopped talking all day. <laughs> talking about your party days. <laughs> you said today that there was one year in your life where you were sober for one week. <laughs> that was when I was 18. What was that today? Heidi seems quite enamoured of Tim, yeah, doesn't she? Was pool day. That was fun. Or is that yeah, just that me? Good. Don't you reckon I'm good at boxing? <laughs> ah, good at boxing. Here, right? No, see, I was I re- talking to Sharon about it. I'm like... Maybe you might be really good at it and like you've got to start doing it. Yeah. Would it, okay, maybe. So with those in the safe house responsible for feeding the halfway housemates, the first breakfast raised questions about just how generous they're willing to be. Do we have rations? Like how do we know? I don't we know, need, we don't know yet, do we? And we need to work out like if we've got rations and yet we're feeding them. You want to be um, happily fed, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I just don't think we should... You're just not happy to share just yet. It's too early in the morning to share. Like, we were put over here for a reason. We were lucky. Fate. I guess, though, I've always been a big believer in, like... What goes around comes around? No, just, like, on a global scale, like, there is enough resources for everyone. And here I am going, don't give it to them. (laughs) Let them stop. Like, it's awful. Hi. 
I'd love to go sit in the kitchen and make up a tea and I just know, just, yeah. Instead of been sitting outside on a camp table. Let's have a team meet and decide what we're gonna do about these halfway houses. Okay, what do you mean? We live in luxury and they live in poverty because <laughs> we're the lucky ones. But they are living in poverty. <laughs> he means not No, feed but them. not if you keep feeding them and giving them drink and whatever they need <laughs> to live. <laughs> but they actually need to survive. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about breakfast and then um, I went and seen the other guys and they said they've got to eat first and then they can give us some breakfast. Is that correct? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, right, sweet. Okay. Cool. And that will happen every day. For the rest of our <laughs> lives. <laughs> Thanks, Mumsy. It's okay, oh, Kate. Oh, and quarters, great. Oh, oh that's it is so cute. You are so mum. Did you get sprinkles as well? No, make sure you eat it all up. Please, wow. please. Good morning, Tahan. Good morning, big brother. How are you going this morning? Very good. But I am in desperate need of my hair dryer, which got taken off me. Tahan, whose clothes are you wearing? <laughs> I know I'm not in the best position to ask. <laughs> I'm wearing Caleb's and Michaela's clothes. They're quite fetching. <laughs> Mine's better though. How come you have no clothes? Because I broke the rules and I promise I'll never do it again. I just want my hair dryer. <laughs> Tahan, you clearly and willingly breached the rules last night by slipping through the house divider, attempting to use the spa. I know. For that, your clothes were confiscated for 24 hours. So that means no to the hair dryer. That is the correct answer. You know, they have to do our dishes and, and give us food and that, and we only have to do their washing. Pretty chilled at the moment. The halfway house doesn't have a bathroom, so halfway housemates must shower outside using a bike to pump the water. That's where it's, um, when they, when they kill, um, oh. Oh, no, I the hands in the tub. Oh. The boys are just sitting down with camp chairs, <laughs> setting up shop. I might go and have a look. Oh, hot water! Amazing. Are you ready? Yeah, go. I hope it's not too hot now. Yes. Oh, that's oh. good! Oh my god! Put it over her head! Oh, this is so good! Is this the first time you've ever given one of those to a girl? <laughs> like, Tahan, how long does it take to wash your body? Oh, You're she's still in the shower. She's still in the shower. We get it, Tahan. You'll be alright. Don't run here. Thank you. No worries. Are you going to come out to the gym? Yeah, I will. I'll swim. I'll make a guest appearance. I don't, I've never guest really. I've, I, I don't go to gyms. Do you run? No. Do you want to do exercise? Oh, I would like to do the treadmill. Yeah, we'll put on some gym gear and we'll go out and do it. I'm doing it for the nerds. I have no idea. I think you're supposed to go alternating. I, 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 can't, I, I wouldn't be able to. Forward. Like that. Not at the same, not like that. Like that, like you're pedaling a bike, but with your hands. Why is that? I know, like. Like that. Harder, harder, harder. Yeah. I, I don't really like this. <laughs> There's no gym in the halfway house, so gym equipment is anything you can find. You should be there when your legs are outstretched. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. When you punch, you punch with those two knuckles. Now I want you punching like a girl, okay? Yeah. I don't want you punching like that. I want you to mean it, okay? Good. And high fives. Oh. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So next time, if someone's going to give you a hard time, yeah. you're going to know how to punch them, okay? Yeah. Well, what are you looking at, mate? <laughs> hey? 
I'll tear you down, mate. Okay? <laughs> what have I made? What have I created? What have, what have you created? I'll tell you what you've created, mate. So I can't take his gloves off. Hang on, hang on, hang on. While some of the safe housemates feel uneasy about their privileged conditions, Tim is enjoying the special treatment. We were lucky to be, like, in the full house, in the safe house, and um, we should just enjoy it while we've got it. And I'm not wanting to give them our things. I just think that we can break them. Like, I think that if we... If we just keep giving them what we've got, then they're just going to be able to survive. But if we start really denying them the food and whatever we've got, then the cracks will form faster, yeah. Oh, Tim, 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 we will break them. Now, picture this. Guy meets girl, guy proposes, they get married, move into a new house together. Sounds like a regular love story, except this is Big Brother, and we're about to see that entire romantic journey happen in a matter of minutes. So what will the newlyweds task be? Will the other housemates be convinced? And what will happen if they're not? We'll meet the bride-to-be right after the break. So I consider myself an honest person. Yes, absolutely, I'm a terrible liar. Honesty is a good thing to have. I mean, sometimes it can be hard. I have no objection to falling in love in the Big Brother house. It's not going to be something that I can help. If it happens, it will happen. If there's the man of my dreams in there, then awesome. I can tell our kids that I met him on Big Brother. <laughs> I would love it if other people fell in love in the Big Brother house. Imagine if they got married and I got to be bridesmaid. If you're there for 24-7 with someone, you can develop feelings in relationships. I have a type, usually alive and female. A brain. Have to have a brain. Have to be witty and intelligent. Easy going, loves a chat and um, not a head case. <laughs> so I like someone who can tan, who has olive skin and someone with hair. Basically I want to make love to someone that looks nothing like me. <laughs> Oh. You are at Big Brother's huge live special where the second part of the twist is about to play out not long now before we meet our two new housemates and unbeknownst to them, just seconds before entering the house, they'll be plunged into an arranged marriage courtesy of the Reverend Big Brother. Now before the arrival of our soon to be happy couple, let's go live to the house and see what the poor halfway housemates are up to. I'm still not sure how they've got any sleep on those beds because they're very narrow or very short. <laughs> Do you think Caleb's actually sleeping in that bed? <laughs> and uh, what is that hat that Matt is wearing? <laughs> That's a very cute hat on Matthew, I think. And there he is, our Shane Warne lookalike. Or as he said last night, a bit more like Warwick Kappa. Right, so that's how they're faring in the halfway house. I think they're actually getting a little bit bored because there is a barbecue going on, there's cooking happening, and they can't be part of it. So they're, they're getting a little bit frustrated. Yeah, you've got to feel a little bit sorry for them. But Big Brother is a social experiment. And what's an experiment without a few testing conditions after all? Now, the girl we're about to meet thinks she'll be entering the Big Brother house like a regular housemate. She's very wrong. She's a miss that's soon to be a missus. It's Jade. <laughs> I'm Jade, I'm 22 and I'm from Ballina. I'm a model, but at the moment I work at a pub. My modelling career actually started in Italy. My modelling jobs are nearly always bikini or swimsuit. I model because it's a job and it's what I can do, but it's got nothing to do with my personality. People always make the wrong assumption about me. Maybe it's just the blonde hair, but yeah, that's so not me. <laughs> 
My favorite thing is walking the dog on the beach and rolling around in sand. Grande fratello, e mi sento un po' scomoda. <laughs> I was living in Italy and I had the red convertible, the penthouse, the glamorous Italian life. I had the perfect ski instructor boyfriend who wasn't so perfect in the end. He broke up with me when he found someone else. I left that glamorous life and completely cut everything. I'm living with my grandparents, I'm working in a pub and I'm back in a small town driving the car I bought at 17. This is a bit depressing because it started when I got dumped. I felt like I needed someone next to me. <laughs> so this is where that one goes. Then this one goes down here. This one sort of gets folded over. It's a bit weird, I have to sleep with four pillows. In the Big Brother house, if I only get one pillow, and I'm hoping I'll make really good friends with someone and I'll sleep with them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking to find someone new. If the right guy was like, will you marry me? I'd probably say yes. <laughs> well, that's kind of handy, isn't it? She's quite gorgeous, Jade. I don't know why someone hasn't put a ring on her finger just yet. Let's go to the house now where Jade is about to enter the diary room and meet Big Brother for the very first time. Jade. Oh, <laughs> scared me. Hello. Welcome to the Big Brother house. Thank you. What's going through your head okay. right now? <laughs> A thousand million things. My palms are sweaty. I'm like shaking. <laughs> Any theories on why you're late to the party? No, I've got no idea. I mean, it's sort of hard to guess. You keep everyone guessing all throughout the show, but yeah, I've got no idea. <laughs> 10 seconds, we're going on the other side, we're going on one side. No, we're out. going to your death. Okay, you want to do till death. <sighs> All right, Jess, he's a battler. Do you want to go on the treaty? Go for the my gun. Oh. How lovely is Ed? I know. I think he is he's a, such he's a bit dreamy. Coach. Like, he is a keeper. I don't know how he's single. No, that's what I said. He's a bit of a... <gasps> oh, a bit of a... Hottie. A hottie. <gasps> You're single. He's I am single. a single. We are both single. Would you wouldn't that be him? so cute, wouldn't it? You like him? Uh, oh, definitely. I think he's very attractive. Yeah. So, would you go he's there? Really, he's really, um, he's a gentleman, isn't he? I, don't, I think actually they'd make a really cute couple. Yeah. Thanks. <sighs> so I've already loving. got it. I love it. I love <laughs> it. Within hours of day one, there's a perfect match. Well, you know love it. that I'm In... going to play Cupid. You don't think Big Brother is going to do anything mean, do you? I hope not. Don't be mean, please. Are you like usually like sort of lean to a pretty lean build? Yeah. Oh, just what I'm now, I suppose. Yeah. What a day. How are we going to do? Yeah. Oh, so what are you thinking of everyone so far? Um, um, yeah, Ed, I haven't really connected with him, but I, st I think we'd bond. Yeah. Yeah, he's super, super nice. Mm. And it's going to be hard not to be flirty because really, he's really cute. Yeah. Like, it's just, it comes naturally yeah. to be all cute and flirty. <laughs> See, I like everyone. I can tell someone that, like, Heidi would get on my nerves, so. Like, she seems lovely, yeah. Heidi. Yeah. She's All very her. extroverted character. Yeah, she seems like she seems lovely, but she seems like someone that would get on my nerves. Like, yeah. Jade. Yes? <laughs> Wait where you are. And right. Big Brother, we'll get back to you shortly. Okay. Cut standard, the suspense is killing me. Poor Jay, she's so nervous. I can't imagine what she'll be like when she finds out it's actually her wedding day. Uh, now, what about the groom? Will there be any chemistry at all? They could be great together or not. Either way, his name's Drew, and we're going to meet him right after the break. I feel I consider myself an honest person. Depends. I'd fit to get away with it. I might tell little lies to stay in the house. I can't see myself finding a wife in the house. I think that would be pretty far-fetched. Do I believe in love at first sight? Um, no. Welcome back. 
right to Big Brother break out the confetti because wedding bells are about to chime. Earlier today, Jade entered the Big Brother house for the first time. She's a single girl from Ballina and has no idea she's about to have a shotgun wedding with a complete stranger. And we're moments away from seeing the happy couple meet for the very first time. So who's about to become Jade's house husband? It's Drew. I'm Drew, I'm 24 and I study chemical engineering. I loved high school. I was school captain in my final year of school, like head prefect. I was a man of the people, I guess, but I didn't get anything done. After I finished school, I had a year off and then I applied to chemical engineering. I'm in the white coat, but there's no Bunsen burners, there's no green chemicals bubbling away. It's pretty much just me at a computer watching numbers tick by. I'm not a hipster, I'm not a gym rat, I'm not a nerd. I'm just a combination of probably all those, those three things. I'm just a social chameleon. So the love of my life is Fiona. I'm not gonna lie, she's been around the block a few times. She's had a few owners, including my own mother, but she's a pro. She's my 1989 Ford Laser. No one else can drive it. I don't know how. Keys out. Still going. That's why I love it. Treated it pretty badly, like if it was an actual girlfriend, would have walked out a million times by now. Currently my relationship status on Facebook is single, so I'm single. I can't see myself being married in the next five years, no, no. Unless something drastic happened, yeah. He is so much like Keanu Reeves, it's freaky. Now we've met Jade, we've met Drew. Let's see what happens when they meet each other for the first time. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm Jade. Anyway. What's your name? Drew. Drew, nice to meet you. Me too. <laughs> Are you excited? I am. You nervous? Yeah. What's up? How nice is the diary room? Oh, yeah, a lot of purple. Don't like purple? No. <laughs> Are you here to welcome? Welcome. Yeah. Um, no, I just got here. Just then. Oh, did you? Yeah, like literally like oh, three right, minutes okay. before you. Oh, right, sorry. I thought you so, had a welcome wagon. No, no good. So you're in I the haven't deck. met anyone except you. Oh, cool. Hi. <laughs> Drew. Jane. Uh, Jade. Jade. With a D, yeah. Jade. Drew. So nice. Ooh. Yes, big brother. Welcome to the big brother house. Thank you. Good to be here. Jade, yes. meet Drew. <laughs> Drew, meet Jade. Hi, Jade. There you go. <laughs> Drew, there's no headwear in the diary room. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> Big Brother has chosen the two of you to attempt the most daring trick Big Brother has concocted since the doors of this house opened 12 years ago. <laughs> Drew, which city do you live in? I live in Melbourne. Jade, which city do you live in? I don't know if you'd call it a city, but Ballina. <laughs> it's um, it's like, do you know where Byron Bay is? Yes, yeah, it's like twenty coast. minutes south of Byron. That's cool. Yeah. How well do the two of you know each other? Uh, I've never well, seen you in my life. Yeah. <laughs> so the two of you have never met before today. Mm -mm. That is a shame. Because, in a few minutes' time, the diary room door will open and Big Brother will introduce you to the other housemates as Big Brother's first ever married couple. Oh, all right. Where's my ring? Yeah, true. Where's my ring? No, you. Where's my ring? <laughs> housemates. All right. In the box beside you is something all married couples need. A wedding ring? Wedding ring. Drew, right. would you care to do the honours? I will. <laughs> uh, Jade? Yes, Drew. I only just met you, but uh, would you do the honour of being my faux wife? I would. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I totally had it sized before I came in. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, this is gonna fall off, but that's okay. I clean out my savings. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you go, I'm married. 
always wanted to be married. How easy is that? Oh, yep. Yeah, I'll put it on. Let's, let's do it properly. You said I do, right? <laughs> prune up. No, prune up. <laughs> Big Brother has provided your rings, but the rest of your love story is yours to create. Okay. How you met, where you met, where you live. The clock is ticking, housemates. Big Brother suggests you do what many married couples don't, and start talking. <laughs> now, all right, let's try and keep it as simple as all possible. Right, right. So we've been married for like not long. Should I go higher? Um, what do you do to start with? I'm an actress and a model. Okay. So, um, what do you do? I'm a student. You're a student? What do you study? Chemical engineering. Oh crap, chemical engineering. Okay, real, I don't know anything about idea. that, but that's okay. Um, I think we should live in like Ballina just because Melbourne... Where you're from? Yeah, okay. where I'm from, just because Melbourne, um, 200 people are from there and it's sort of big, it's sort of easier to keep it quiet in True. Ballina. So, um, I'm Italian, by the way. Okay. Um, we just half Italian. Yeah, I was born in Italy and grew up in Australia. Okay. Um, dad still lives over there. Yep. So I was over there living with Dad. So um, we met there. You and I? Yeah. Okay. Like you were backpacking or something over yep. there. Yeah. Oh, cool. And then... Cool. Okay, so we got married in Byron, mm -hmm. say, yep. on the beach. Yeah. Just real simple. Yeah. Close family and friends. Uh, cliche. <laughs> cliche. Yeah. Well, that's probably how I would get married anyway. Like, I'm not religious, so I wouldn't really do it in a church. So, yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. How long have you been married again? Two months? Two months, yeah. We haven't gone on a wedding anniversary yet. Honeymoon? A honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done a honeymoon yet, right. just because we haven't really got the money at the moment. Um, okay. The place. So, yeah. how does a married couple act? <laughs> we'll just be coupley. I mean, we've just married. Yeah, so, so just coupley. I'll just bit. hold your hand and. Won't uh, say cold things over the dinner table be, just yet. Yeah, be cutesy. No flirting with anyone else. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. Right back at you. Right back at you. Um, and and you're a model. Yeah, I'm a model. Okay. You're a student. Yep. I oh, I work in a pub as well. At, okay. In Ballina, when I'm not modelling, just to yeah. pay the bills. And I hate that. And you don't like that at all. Yeah. You want me to quit. Yeah. So we need to win. Yeah, yeah, we do. And you know. where are we from? Ballina. Ballina. Yeah. Crap. Thinking vanilla. Ballina. Banana. Ballina. Banana. Banana. Ballina. That's good. I don't eat seafood or I don't eat pretty much meat. Okay. I eat chicken. Okay. Drew. Yes. Jade. Yes. On the other side of the diary room door are 12 other housemates. Okay. Well, that's fine. They have no idea you are about to enter the house. They will have no idea that your marriage is completely fake. Sham marriage. Your job is to keep it that way. Yep. Drew and Jade, you have one week to remain married in the eyes of your fellow housemates. If any housemate comes to the diary room in that time, and tells Big Brother that they believe you are faking it, then you will be automatically nominated. Like, when's your birthday? 10th of November. 10th of so what star sign are you? Scorpio. Scorpio. I'm Leo. Yours in okay. 10 days. Yep. However, if you successfully fool them, then you will be immune from the first nominations. Cool. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes, Big Brother. Housemates. Yes, big Brother. Big Brother now pronounces you husband <laughs> and wife. Thanks, Big Brother. Drew, you may kiss the bride. I'm having heart palpitations. Now, we met in Italy. What, you and I? No, me and Sonia. What do you think, Drew? Yes, you and I. All right, here are the facts. Jade and Drew must make the others believe 
They are married for one whole week, and if they succeed, they can't be nominated, but if they fail, they're automatically up for eviction. So how are they going to do it? Can you imagine having to hold hands and make kissy faces, be so convincingly in love that your housemates can't tell you've only just met? Will the others believe that it's true romance? We're gonna find out when they enter the house. That's next. Welcome back to Big Brother, where we've just witnessed marriage at first sight. Jade and Drew, complete strangers until now, have just been informed that to avoid nomination, they must convince the other housemates they are married for one whole week. Now, they've barely learnt each other's names, let alone got a story together, which is kind of convenient, inconvenient, because their charade starts now. No, I just wanted to see if they actually had we're anything got, to offer. We're now chilling, guys. Chilling and killing. This they is can't. Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge. Woo! <laughs> 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 is this mine? Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Do we organise this or did Big Brother? What's going on? Yeah. Solidarity. Yes. Solid. Units. We're getting excited, everyone. Damn, my lady. Is that person? What the hell is that? Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, wow. so are you How long are you? Every, every, how old are you? I'm 22, 23 in 10 days. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yes, guess what? You're in the lucky side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you guys not no, seen no, the no. house? This is the bedroom. So there was one there was one double bed yeah, yeah. which I was in, they which I am happy. It. Actually, Shaz is happy to give up yeah. her side of the bed. Yeah. So Shaz's you double have, bed there. Um, so are you guys happy to go up there? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, how old is that are you? Us, that's I'm 24, 24, 22. 22. Oh, I'm not the youngest. And why did you get married? Because you love each other. Yeah. <laughs> each other. Oh, each other's sweet Each other's sweet No, no we actually. Meant backpacking. Oh, oh I love yeah, so. I've just always wanted to get married. I'm shaking. I know. Sorry. Uh, oh, you're right. It is a bit blingy. Then, yeah. I told, sorry. You also oh, you're married too. I know she was blinking. Oh, so. How long have you guys been married for? Just two months. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Fresh, this will be a bit of a test in the relationship. Wait, so what is... Holy banana. They wash our clothes and stuff. I, I can't believe I just said holy banana. That's <laughs> <laughs> God, this is so beautiful. It's very amazing. Better than our place. The kitchen. <laughs> a bit better than our place. <laughs> Let's move here. How young are they? 22. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're such a hot little couple, aren't mm. they? Are you guys hungry? We just had lunch. Oh, I'm... But there's, you like, hungry, help uh, yourself. We're still trying to work out where everything is, but, like, oh, yeah. pretty big. So you guys got married two months ago me and met, met backpacking. Thank you so much. So how long have you been together for? What do you mean? Like how long have you been going out before you got married? About like a year total. So okay. met her a year ago. Oh wow. What did your mum think? Oh, mum was fine. She always knew that I wanted to get married and so, you know, like I've always wanted to get married early. I was surprised, but yeah. Where did you get married? I want to know this. In Byron. Oh, yeah. Did you get so like bad. married with no shoes on on the beach with your hair really, really flowy like, like now? <laughs> yeah. So she's a model. He's studying. Is she? So she said she's a model. This is mental. I know. It's crazy. What are you doing over there with the broom? 
I want to talk to the half people. <laughs> We're so where, whereabouts did you guys get married? I'm in Byron on the beach. Bit cliche, but I've always wanted to get married on the beach. And how long have you been together? Like just a year, so not that long. Oh my, God. my boyfriend needs to propose. I said, hey, we've been together for two years and three months. That's cute. Yeah, was, I was, it, lucky. was it a really romantic proposal? It was. It was very romantic. Cool. What can we do for we you guys? We met in Italy. Or can we just what go back do? to what we were doing before? No, you can do it. Oh, you're so sweet. No, get to know us. <laughs> For me, like, this yeah. is Big Brother. Drew and Jade. Your honeymoon suite is now open. What? Maybe you oh, guys it just opened. It just opened. Go, Jay. Oh, oh my God. Can we not? Oh, my God. Is it sick? He likes it. Can we not? Shut the door. Can shut the door? Can I shut the door? Can I shut the door? It might be on the TV. It might be on the TV. Oh, I wish we were. This so cute. Hey, look, there's our luggage. Drew, Jane. Yes, big brother. Welcome to the honeymoon suite. Thank you. This is your place to retreat. Do you understand? Yes. Yep. And by the way, that bed splits into two. <laughs> you can separate that and sleep on singles each. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright, right, I think we should probably invite uh, them in here. Yeah, in a bit. Um, what did you struggle with? Or what did you, what did you have to say just then? Oh, just things like... Mainly just asking me questions about myself. Okay, that's good. Have you struggled with anything? No, no, not really. I was, I was shaking when I came in. Same. <sighs> we could do this. We can do this, yeah. We need to just like get them over it yeah. as soon as... Yeah, just ask some questions about them. Like I don't really know anything about them yet because they all just sort of like attacked us with questions. Yeah. But, yeah. Because we're pretty easy. Because we're only like a year. We didn't do the like child, like high school sweethearts or anything like no. that. You can so just we, pretty much take your everything. life and replace the last year with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You don't have a boyfriend on the outside? No. No, no I don't know. You don't have a girlfriend either, no. okay? <laughs> Not going to get bashed up when you leave the house. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Oh, good. Oh, wow. So how long can the honeymoon last? Can they maintain the foments for a whole week? They'll have to if they want to avoid nomination. When we return, Jade and Drew try dodging the questions of increasingly suspicious housemates. We unveil a hidden part of the house and you get your first glimpse of the next housemates to round out our class of 2013. to a very matrimonial big brother. Now, we've all heard of pre-wedding nerves. Well, Jade and Drew have a bad case of post-wedding anxiety. How did he propose? Yeah, I want to hear this. It was actually really simple. It was just in Byron. That's why we got married in Byron. But, but how did he do it? Just on the beach. And what did he say? Will you marry me? <laughs> and you guys yeah. get married how late afterwards? Oh, like... It was all really fast, actually. I think it was Did you like... rush it because you're having a baby? <laughs> yep, I'm pregnant. That's the twist. <laughs> how long you guys been together, Jade? A year. A in year. total. Yep. yep. We literally just asked her a simple question. How did you propose? And she got up and walked away. <laughs> hey, bub. Oh. I didn't touch it. Uh, hey, just at last. Drew. How did you propose? Huh? Have you told anyone how you proposed? Okay, because I just sat on a beach in Byron because I forgot. Hey. In Byron. Byron. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? What? what? She was like, hey, and he was like, what? And she was like, she was like, hey. So I was like, really simply, just on a beach in Byron. Mm. <laughs> Good thinking. 
And then we got married like two months later. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Shotgun. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, so she didn't answer. She's like, oh, it was really simple, it was on a date. Yeah. And we're like, so what happened? Like, tell us, and she's kind of like, what off. We just have to watch the body language. And the fiddling of the ring. Do you think that the couple are real? Uh, oh, actually, Heidi made me doubt it. Yeah. What, what's the rationale behind that? We've got a couple of things. We've got a couple of things we've all dotted. That, we've all dotted the point. I'm just, I'm just skeptical because I, I don't. I just. I think it's odd how they came in. Yeah. I want to say. I want to figure out like when their birthdays are and stuff. Like something that yeah, only, yeah. you'd only. And know. No, they would have studied that for sure. No, but you can't. Like even if you did make it up, like there's some things that you can't. You can. You know. You're not asked what what their parents' names are or what's. And well, no, I reckon they're legit. I, I really think they're do. legit too. Because I, 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 I don't know. I think they're legit. Definitely, I, I could definitely see them being legit. I, I, I just, I'm just sceptical, that's all. That cheeky guy. I don't want to have a crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll keep going, though. For the halfway housemates, showering is a team effort. It's not working. Should I break it? And for the safe housemates, it's a guaranteed source of entertainment. Take your time, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> How is he not cold? I would be freezing. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> oh, Ben, are you all right, Ben, darling? You're getting all hot. Oh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I've <laughs> got a black puppy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be gross. It's like me all soapy. I would love stuff. to wash the soap off him. Attention. <laughs> 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 Big brother! Yeah, no, that we're not getting there. No. I was going to ask what their favourite meal was. Drew, Jay, what's your favourite meal? Me, I like pizza. What date was he born? Yeah, what, what date was he born? You can't say anything. What date was he born? What date was he born? Yeah, you know, Did you just November. ask him when his birthday was? Yeah. Me. <laughs> no, I was just wondering if we're allowed to say that. It's 10th of November, but... But you told us your birthday. Yeah. Before. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not oh, yeah. Well, we're not allowed, allowed, allowed to say know. things like last names. We're not allowed to say... Or is that mainly just birthdays. the auditions? <laughs> Figures too much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many sus on us, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Very. <sighs> but it's, it's pretty hard. Also, because we're so, and I can't like this. Oh yeah, I keep playing with this. I keep playing with it, and it's so big. Yeah. Like, it keeps almost mm -hmm. falling off. If you're alright with it, we'll just keep the beds together because people can, like if they can't yeah, yeah, yeah. anything, it'll yeah, yeah. be way too fast. I didn't even think of that. And what about um, when you proposed? Was everyone like, what the hell? Was that in Byron? Yeah, that or? was a shock, because I didn't tell her from asking her mum. And so did you just ask her randomly like, in Byron? What do you mean randomly? Like, did you just all of a sudden go, oh, I'm going to propose to no, her today? No, like, I, or you'd planned it? No, yeah, I, 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 about yeah, it. I, was planning, I had a, I had the ring already. How much did you spend on the ring? It's pretty fast. I was like 15 <laughs> grand. No, it what? was it? Yeah. Heidi. Are you joking? Can mm. you marry me? When you decide to divorce her in five years' time? Oh. 15 grand. I ain't that even... is, That's no, see, that's a lot of money. Well, I sold my car and. You sold, yeah. Oh, it's. You can, but liquid, she's you worth can liquidate it. that easier than you'd think. Like, I did save, obviously. I'm just... Yeah. Woo! So far, so good. It's making me very nervous, so I have to say now. Coming up, a secret room will be revealed. Brand new housemates will show their faces for the first time, and you will see plenty more action from the, from the house. That's all happening when Big Brother returns. To Big Brother's live special. Now, back at the house, Jade and Drew are still playing the role of husband and wife, may I say, pretty well so far. And the other housemates are starting to miss the things they were wedded to on the outside. What are three things that you, you would find really, like you're finding really hard to live without? Like, like possessions, not actual Thanks. people. Oh. I can say nothing. 
Like, okay, so if you would be a hairdryer. My, my hairdryer, my phone, <laughs> and hot water. Hot water, yeah. That's fair enough, that's good. What about yeah. you? You're pretty sweet. Bleach? Yeah. Yeah. My teeth think my blender. Oh, I love a good yeah. blend in the you morning. Like oh, I love blending. Yeah. Anything blended is awesome. Yeah. I'd say gym, yeah. surfing, um, and just music. Um, I would say, oh, it's a tough one. I'd say a bed, proper bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, just to reiterate. Hot water that. And Look, I probably should be saying my phone, and everyone that's asked me up until now has been like, oh, how are you doing? And I probably should be like, oh, I'm going crazy, but I've been fine. Yeah. For me, it would probably be my phone, my books, because I like to use them to relax, and a kitchen. Oh, yes. I I'm never get over the smell. Hi, Heidi. Tim. Hi. How's it going? How are you both? We're good. We reckon that we should all dress up as the people that we potentially look like or even act like. We've got the most amazing doppelgangers for everyone in the house. Which he probably heard Except today. Ben. We're not sure about Ben's yet. Yeah, but we'll work on that Is if we're going to have a party. Yeah, apparently he's a Muppet. a Muppet. Run Big Brother through who you have so far. Ooh, okay. Okay. So I'm Let's a... Let's start with Heidi. <laughs> I'm a Dell. It's only head up. Like, I wasn't commenting on any other part <laughs> of the likeness. And he's heard that I'm a really good singer as well, so... Adele. <laughs> I'm... Hooksy. Hooker, the oh, um, pole pole holder. holder. And yeah. then Oliver Martinez is... Ed. Remember Ed. Kyle him Noig's ex-boyfriend. I think, is it Oliver or Olivier? Olivier. Olivier. Um, and then Shazza is Sher. Sher. And then Flash Gordon, what's he? So it's he's Warnie, Shane Warnie. Warnie. Caleb is Caleb. Warnie. And then the Chan old Warnie when he was a bit bigger. Back in the day. And then Channing um, Tatum. Matt. Is Matt's Matt. Channing Tatum. And then we reckon a little bit of Bradley Cooper for Xavier. Xavier. Xavier's Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Drew, Drew is Keanu Reeves. Yeah, and then There's no doubt. Jade. She is either like Claudia name. Schiffer or no. She's an actor. She's in a movie. Just go with it. Tani? Tartoon? Ta. Now I'm thinking Chang Channing Tatum. <laughs> Big brother, who is that girl? Perhaps you're referring to Tahan. Tahan. I <laughs> 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 So you got engaged and then how long until you got married? You had a short engagement. Yeah, it was a fairly short engagement actually. But We've you... been, we got married on the 25th of May. Hmm. Wow. Oh, May, June. Oh, so really, so yeah, we've been married months. for two months. Yeah, two months and like a couple of days now. So how long were you engaged for? I think about two months. You're but kidding me. And how long did you know? Sorry, yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, it was, all, it was all very shotgun. People were like, what? And how, how long had you known him? Like A year. So 12 months and then you got engaged and you got married. Yeah. It's a twist. Oh, you're I actually pregnant. That. A big, fairly big twist no. for me too. <laughs> yeah, a massive twist. Every time I um, like, I walk into a room, people are like, oh, no. Yeah. I mean, oh, come on, it's pretty damn hard. Yeah, I'm Like, they shouldn't have made us engaged. They should have just made us boyfriend and girlfriend, and we could have pulled that off. I see, that's... I just really don't want to leave. Like, we're, that means we're going to be up for eviction. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. <laughs> We're in deep crap. There's not that many places. Ben is safe to create his own alter ego. He's calling himself Brett. Brett? Next time we want to. You're Brett. Yeah. <laughs> You're Brett. Yeah, g'day. What is it? I'm Brett. <laughs> What's your name, on? Uh, what is it? Dahan. Dahan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I won't remember that. <laughs> I'm that mighty young. Yeah, not too bad, brother. <laughs> <laughs> It is hard to keep up because it's, 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 it is an act. It's 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 an act. I used to be addicted to Inspector Gadget when I was there. I love it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to, gadget I used to do a voice where we used to go, I'll get you next time. <laughs> and that does, that does that. <laughs> Why <What> underwear? <laughs> Tahan and Caleb have finally allowed their luggage back after being reprimanded by Big Brother for briefly crossing over into the safe house last night. How funny if I don't get all my underwear back. And there's a problem with the contents. 
Oh, uh, what? What the hell? <gasps> don't tell no, me! No, no way! No, don't tell me! What's going on? Do not tell me that you don't have your underwear or your stuff. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? No! No! <laughs> what is it? Oh, are you close? <laughs> Go. Oh. oh my god! Oh yeah. Are you serious? Really? <laughs> what, what, did he, what did he say? What did he say? Oh baby. Oh. Oh my god. I'm gonna go talk to him. No. Did you just try talking to him? Then? No, no, no. Oh, baby. Oh. I'm really bad because Caleb doesn't, he didn't even... He's laughing, he's hilarious. <laughs> she's devastated about her clothes. <laughs> Do you know when, if at all, I will get my clothes back? Last time Big Brother checked your suitcase, your clothes were inside. There was a sign saying, I owe you clothes, so obviously they weren't in my bag. A sign. Yes, and it says I owe you clothes. And rocks. Here is the evidence you wish to see. It appears Big Brother cannot help you, Tahan. So does that mean I, my clothes are stolen? That's what ransom notes usually indicate, <laughs> yes. I know, but how do I get them back? That's what I want to know. How do I get my clothes back? It seems that's up to the clothes snapper. But you know who the clothes snapper is. Don't you? Tahan, is there anything else? I just want to say I'm sorry for jumping on the other side and it won't ever happen again. Okay, bye. is a dirty double crossing clothes snapper. Coming up, how will the housemates react when we unveil Big Brother's secret room? And why are the late comers he's sending in unlike any of the other housemates? You're back with Big Brother. Now let's check back in with Jade and Drew who have retreated to their private honeymoon suite. It's like, oh my God, it's so angry. <laughs> Within the room. When... With the honeymoon suite cut off from the rest of the house, Jade and Drew can get their story straight without the fear of being that. heard. Like, the th oh, she was, hey. um, like Shazza was like attacking it's people. Oh my in God, here. it's freezing in here, Big Brother. Oh. That is not fair. Um, we have hardly even talked. I know. Like, I actually don't know a thing about you. No. Like, I don't know you from a bar of soap, and we've been cuddling all day, and like, yeah. you know, like, a, they've picked our personalities You're well. quite a good actor. That's... We're the first married couple, but we're not, so. We're not married. Are we the twist, what? Or is there another twist? There might be a twist. I don't know if they've actually gone, okay, yes, 100% Big Brother, they are not together. Yeah, but do you, do you also feel like you haven't even shown your actual personality? Yeah, I sort of feel like I can't really be who I am because I'm trying to be this married, fake woman and I'm trying to be careful about anything I say, so it's sort of like, oh, be yourself, be yourself. No, don't be yourself. Well, like, yeah. Oh, batteries in here. New batteries. In the halfway house, there's a choice of only half full length and half full width mattresses, which means getting comfortable requires some getting used to. So someone's got an extra mattress. Oh, yeah, this is actually really comfy. This is so good. The safe house bedroom is luxurious, but Ben is still a little uneasy about living with others. 
Um, ben, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. I, I came to take my multivitamin, um, but we could also have a chat as well. I just, I just, I know that I can, oh, what do I say? I've lived, I've lived alone for about 10 years on my own and I'm just so used to, I'll just go brush my teeth, I'll just go do my skin, I'll go to the bathroom and, you know, hop into bed and I'm, I'm sort of not used to doing things, you know, with everyone. So it's like, I feel that if I, if I go, to, go to bed now, I feel like I'm missing out on the Big Brother experience or my housemates will think that, you know, we're awake. You know, why isn't he, you know? Yeah, I, f I feel a need to hang out, you know? I, I don't want to be seen as withdrawing, even though I don't mean it to come across like that. Is mm. there anything else tonight? No, I think that's, um, I think that's it for today. Thank you, Big Brother. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. That is all. Did you want to sleep on this side? No. Just sleep on that side and Xavier can sleep in the middle. Is it comfortable? No, not really. <laughs> but it's better than what it was. Are you good tonight, Matt? Um, I'm easy where I sleep, really. Yeah, I'm easy too. Obviously, I'm not going to get the best sleeps, but it's not the worst thing. <gasps> well, I think I'm sleeping on my back, oh. actually. Uh, I can already feel me waking up like an 80 year old. <laughs> I wonder if that's my town. You, you, have you just noticed like, you know, it's just communal towels and water bottles? Yeah. I thought we'd have our own, to be honest, but I'm happy sharing. Yeah. It doesn't really bother me. As long as we can wash our towels. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave my hygiene phobias at the door. Love it. Now, after the break, the housemates discover they'll be going head-to-head -head in a showdown, and they'll also learn about the secret room from Big Brother that he's kept completely under wraps. And all I can say is it's very presidential, just the kind of thing to make 14 housemates very excited. Brother, where in a few moments' time we'll see who's next to enter the house and find out what it is that makes them so compelling. But first, there's a whole lot the housemates don't know about Big Brother this year. So let's cross live to the house and tell them about a little thing called Showdown and make the hidden part of the house public domain. Hi, housemates. <laughs> Hi. Now, firstly, Jade and Drew, welcome. You're the first married couple to enter the house. How are you guys settling in? Good, really good. good. <laughs> all right. Well, it looks great. The house looks fantastic. It's all decked out. It's even got a high-tech gym. Ben, have you been making the most of that? Um, yeah, I, I used a treadmill today. <laughs> good. Not really my thing, but I try. Good, yeah. good. Now, you guys have been having to feed the halfway housemates. <laughs> Tim, how have you been finding that? We're slaves, Sonia. <laughs> we, we are cooking and cleaning, and 
I don't know who got the raw end of the deal. <laughs> right. Because I don't think it's supposed to go like that, is no. it? <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I'll, look, I'll have, what if I have a word to them about it, all right? Because you, should, they, you shouldn't be their slaves. It should be the other way around. Exactly. All right. Well, you guys have fun. I'm going to talk to your neighbours. They lost my dirty undies. <laughs> <laughs> See you back. Hi, halfway housemates. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you guys, you got the raw deal, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Okay, but tell me, is the halfway house really that bad to Han? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really grateful. I'm really appreciative. But, but it's not that great when you don't have clothes. No. No. And hard, to wear, hard to wear rocks, isn't it? <laughs> Mm, okay, Tully, how are you going without the internet? Um, it's actually been pretty difficult. I, it's, it's more that I just want to share what I'm doing with outside, and I know that's kind of already happening, but I want to be tweeting and, and, and Facebooking about it. Okay, Ka and Kayla, tell me about the beds. You've, there's been a reconfiguration oh, of beds, the, hasn't there? The beds are a nightmare. <laughs> I haven't had a one hour sleep since I've been in here. <laughs> Not one hour? Well, hardly, yeah. Apparently I snored for like one hour last night, and that's all. <laughs> Just, was that because you were next to Xavier? Yeah. Oh. I, I didn't want to turn my back on him or my front on him, so I've had a bit of room. <laughs> radio, radio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, well, I've got some big news for all of you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, at the weekend, you will compete in the first ever Big Brother Showdown. There will be a series of games and challenges meant to test you all and you'll enter the Big Brother arena. Yes. It will become Housemate versus Housemate. The winner. Very importantly, the winner of Showdown will receive exclusive and extremely valuable house privileges. Now, take it from me, guys, you really want to win. Got this. All right. And before I go, here's a taste of just one of the prizes. It's called the Presidential Suite. After the halfway house, some of them could definitely handle a night or two in the presidential suite. Big Brother has given us the halfway house. He's given us instant newlyweds. But the next part of the twist involves these three latecomers. Here's your first sneak peek. I'm Rohan. My girlfriend knows that I'm not capable of saying that I love her. I am also unable to express the way I feel a lot of the time. Not to say that I'm narcissistic, but do I think I'm smart? Yeah, I'd like to say so. I tend to strategize a lot in my day-to-day -day life. I guess you could say that I'm completely a product of my generation. I'm Katie. And I'm Lucy. The two of us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like L3. <laughs> we get judged because of our blonde hair, fake tan, fake eyelashes, but there's definitely more to us than that. We, we like nice people. We don't like bitchy girls. We're definitely glass half full, full kind of girls. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see what happens when the latecomers go in, whenever that might be, and it won't be as straightforward as you might think. And remember, whenever you want to check in on what's happening at the house or for tickets to any of the live shows, go to bigbrother.com.au. Now, despite recent twists and turns, for now it seems like the house is settling into some sort of rhythm. That's it from me, but let's go back to Jade and Drew in the honeymoon suite after the biggest day of their lives. They've been living a lie for a day, only a week to go, and we will be right there with them. Another married couple. We are the married couple. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we did. Now, I've just got to keep 
making up lies and then letting you know. <laughs> know what they are. Uh, I hope they don't like hate us when they find out. Just, it makes me so uncomfortable when you know that someone's talking about you. Yeah. I'm just not used to it. No, like. neither. I'm really not used to it. <laughs> I am the king of the world. <laughs> did, he, did it work? Oh, that's good. Oh, well, the lights are off. Of course it worked. <laughs> oh, um, nice. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> How do we fix this? What? This. <laughs> There's Don't a way. Let me there forget is... to put these rings on again to work. I just, I have to take them off. I'll lose them in the bed. They're too huge. Can't believe I said 15 grand. I don't know. I know nothing. But that's no. like me in the birthday thing. I, like, I was just like, I should have just said a random birthday. Oh, exactly. I'll just go with it. But I was just worried that you'd already said your birthday to it. Oh, no, I had. I had it. I had it anyway. And then you would have had to remember that your birthday actually wasn't what it was the next week. Oh, yeah. I can do that. We can fix this. Can we? We can. I think it might already be too late, but if it's we not, can fix this. It's always a way. Thanks, big brother. Need to have a fight or something. <laughs> I mean, that's all I've been thinking about. How to win this. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother. Oh. I didn't touch it. Uh, I touched it last. Drew. The decade. How did you propose? Huh? Have you told anyone how you proposed? Okay, because I just said on a beach in Byron because I forgot. Hey. In Byron. In Byron. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? What? what? She was like, hey, and he was like, what? And she was like, she was like, hey. So I was like, really simply just on a beach in Byron. Good mm -hmm. <laughs> And then we got married like two months later or <laughs> something, I don't know. Shotgun. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, so she didn't answer. She's like, oh, it was really simple. It was on a beach. Yeah. And we're like, so what happened? Like, tell us. And she's kind of like, wandered off. We just have to watch the body language. And the fiddling of the ring. Do you think that the couple are real? Uh, oh, actually, Heidi made me doubt it. Yeah. What, what's the rationale behind that? We've got a couple of things. We've got a couple of things we've all dotted. That, we've all dotted the point. I'm just, I'm just skeptical because I, I don't. I just. I think it's odd how they came in. Yeah. I want to say. I want to figure out like when their birthdays are and stuff. Like something that yeah, only yeah. you'd only know. No, they would have studied that for sure. No, but you can't. Like even if you did make it up, like there's some things that you can't. You can. You know. You're not asked what what their parents' names are or what's. And well, no, I reckon they're legit. I, I really think they're do. legit too. Because I, 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 I don't know. I definitely, I, I can definitely see them being legit. I, I, I just, I'm just skeptical. That's all. A cheeky guy. <laughs> I don't want to have a crap. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, It'll keep nice. going though. For the halfway housemates, showering is a team effort. It's not working. Did I break it? And for the safe housemates, it's a guaranteed source of entertainment. Take your time, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> How is he not cold? I would be freezing. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> oh, Ben, are you all right, Ben, darling? You're getting all hot. Oh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> I've got a black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be gross. It's me like me all soapy. I would love to wash the soap off him. Attention. <laughs> 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 Big brother. Yeah, no, that would not get in there. I was going to ask what their favourite. Uh, Drew, Jay, what's your favourite meal? Me, I like pizza. What date was he born? Yeah, what, what date was he born? You can't say anything. What date was he born? What date was he born? Did you just ask him when his birthday was? 
Yeah. Me. <laughs> no, I was just wondering if we're allowed to say that. It's the 10th of November, but... But you told us your birth date. Yeah. Before. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not oh. Well, we're not allowed, allowed to say things like last names. We're not allowed to say... Or is that more only just the auditions? Dates. Because too much? Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's so many sus on us, I reckon. Well, I, had a, I had the ring already. How much do you spend on the ring? It's pretty fast. I was like 15 grand. <laughs> What? What? Yeah. Heidi. Are you joking? Can you marry me? When you decide to divorce her in five years' time? Oh. <laughs> 15 grand. I ain't that even... is, That's no, see, that's a lot of money. Well, I sold my car and. You sold, yeah. Like, it's. You can, but liquid, she's you worth can liquidate it. that easier than you'd think. Like, I did save, her, obviously. I mean, just... Yeah. So far, so good. It's making me very nervous, so I have to say now. Coming up, a secret room will be revealed. Brand new housemates will show their faces for the first time, and you will see plenty more action from the, from the house. That's all happening when Big Brother returns. to Big Brother's live special. Now, back at the house, Jade and Drew are still playing the role of husband and wife, may I say, pretty well so far. And the other housemates are starting to miss the things they were wedded to on the outside. What are three things that you, you would find really, like you're finding really hard to live without? Like, like possessions, not actual Thanks. people. Oh. I could essentially oh, say nothing. Like, okay, so for you, it would be your hairdryer. My, my hairdryer, my phone, <laughs> and hot water. Hot water, yeah. That's fair enough, that's good. What about you? Yeah. You're pretty sweet. Bleach? Yeah. Yeah. My teeth think. <laughs> my blender. Oh, I love a good yeah. blend in the like morning. Oh, I love blending, yeah. Anything blended is awesome. Yeah. I'd say gym, yeah. surfing, um, and just music. Um, I would say, oh, it's a tough one. I'd say a bed, proper yeah. bed. <laughs> um, Just to reiterate hot water that. And look, I probably should be saying my phone, and everyone that's asked me up until now has been like, oh, how are you doing? And I probably should be like, oh, I'm going crazy, but I've been fine. Yeah. For me, it would probably be my phone, my books, because I like to use them to relax, and a kitchen. Oh, yes. I never like get it. over the smell. Heidi, Tim. Hi. How's it going? How are you both? We're good. We reckon that we should all dress up as the people that we potentially look like or even act like. We've got the most amazing doppelgangers for everyone in the house. Which he probably heard Except today. Ben. We're not sure about Ben's yet. Yeah, but we'll work on that Is if we're going to have a party. Yeah, apparently he's a Muppet. Run Big Brother through who you have so far. Ooh, okay. Okay. So I'm Let's a... Let's start with Heidi. <laughs> I'm a it's Del. It's only head. It's a twist. You're oh, actually pregnant. Oh. A big, fairly big twist no. for me too. <laughs> yeah, a massive twist. Every time I, um, like, I walk into a room, people are like, oh, no. Yeah. I mean, come on, it's pretty damn hard. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. Like, they shouldn't have made us engaged. They should have just made us boyfriend and girlfriend, and we could have pulled that off. I uh, see, that's... I just really don't want to leave. Like... We're, that means we're going to be up for eviction. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in deep crap. There's not that many places. Ben is safe to create his own alter ego. He's calling himself Brett. Brett? Next time he walks. You're Brett. Yeah. <laughs> You're Brett. Yeah, g'day. What is it? I'm Brett. <laughs> What's your name, like? Uh, what? Dahan. Dahan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That might be young. Yeah, not too bad, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. It is hard to keep up because it's, 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 it is an act. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's it time. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, it doesn't hurt. Oh, when I, I used to be addicted to Inspector Gadget when I was. There. I love it. Oh, yes. And I used, to, Gadget I used to do a voice. We go. We used to go. I'll get you next time. <laughs> and that does. That does hurt. <laughs> what <in the> underwear? <laughs> Tahan and Caleb have finally allowed their luggage back after being reprimanded by Big Brother for briefly crossing over into the safe house last night. How 
funny if I don't get all my underwear back. And there's a problem with the contents. Oh, what? What the hell? <gasps> don't tell no me! No way! No, don't tell me! What's going on? Do not tell me that you don't have your underwear or your stuff. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? No! No! <laughs> what is it? Uh, are you close? <laughs> Go. Oh. oh my god! Oh yeah. Are you serious? Really? <laughs> what, what, did he, what did he say? What did he say? Oh baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go talk to him. No. Did you just try talking to him? Then? No, no, no. Oh, baby. Oh. And I got really bad because Caleb doesn't, he didn't even... He's laughing, he's just hilarious. <laughs> she's devastated about her clothes. Don't you dare. Three months at here. Yeah, was I was lucky. Was it a really romantic proposal? It was, it was very good. What me? can we do for we you guys? We met in Italy. Or can we just go back to what we were doing before? No, you can do Oh, you're so sweet. No, get to know it. For me, like... This is Big Brother. Drew and Jade. Your honeymoon suite is now open. Maybe you oh, guys saw it. You guys saw it. Go, Jay. Oh, oh my God! Can we go? Oh, 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 I wish we were. It's so cute. Hey, look, there's our luggage. Drew, Jane. Yes, big brother. Welcome to the honeymoon suite. Thank you. This is your place to retreat. Do you understand? Yes. Yep. And by the way, that bed splits into two. <laughs> you can separate that and sleep on singles each. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright, right, I think we should probably invite uh, them in here. Yeah, in a bit. Um, what did you struggle with? Or what did you, what did you have to say just then? Oh, just things like... Mainly just asking me questions about myself. Okay, that's good. Have you struggled with anything? No, no, not really. I was, I was shaking when I came in. Same. <sighs> we could do this. We can do this, yeah. We need to just like get them over it yeah. as soon as... Yeah, just ask some questions about them. Like I don't really know anything about them yet because they all just sort of like attacked us with questions. Yeah. But, yeah. Because we were pretty easy. Because we're only like a year. We didn't do the like child, like high school sweethearts or anything like no. that. You can so just we, pretty much take your everything. life and replace the last year with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You don't have a boyfriend on the outside. No. Like, no, no, I don't know. You don't have a girlfriend either, no. okay? <laughs> Not gonna get bashed up when I leave the house. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Oh, good. Oh, wow. So how long can the honeymoon last? Can they maintain the foments for a whole week? They'll have to if they want to avoid nomination. When we return, Jade and Drew, try dodging the question. Thank you. Oh, I totally had it sized before I came in. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, this is gonna fall off, but that's okay. I clean out my savings. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you go, I'm married. Always wanted to be married. Easy as that. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'll put it on. Let's, let's do it properly. You said I do, right? <laughs> so. Prune up. No, prune up. Big Brother has provided your rings 
but the rest of your love story is yours to create. Okay. How you met, where you met, where you live. The clock is ticking, housemates. Big Brother suggests you do what many married couples don't and start talking. <laughs> now, all right, let's try and keep it as simple as all possible. Right, right. So we've been married for like not long. Should I go higher? Huh? Um, what do you do to start with? I'm an actress and a model. Okay. So, um, what do you do? I'm a student. You're a student? What do you study? Chemical engineering. Oh crap, chemical engineering. Okay, I don't know anything about that, but that's okay. Um, I think we should live in, like, Ballina, just because Melbourne... Where you're from? Yeah, where I'm from, just because Melbourne, um, 200 people are from there, and it's sort of big, it's sort of easier to keep it quiet in Ballina. So... Um, I'm Italian, by the way. Okay. Um, just half there? Italian. Yeah, I was born in Italy and grew up in Australia. Okay. Um, dad still lives over there. Yep. So I was over there living with Dad. So, um, we met there. You and I? Yeah. Okay. Like, you were backpacking or something over yep. there. Yeah. Oh, cool. And then... Cool. Okay, so we got married in Byron, mm -hmm. say, yep. on the beach. Yeah. Just real simple. Yeah. Close family and friends. Uh, cliche. <laughs> cliche. Yeah. Well, that's probably how I would get married anyway. Like, I'm not religious, so I wouldn't really do it in a yeah, church. No. So, yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. How long have you been married again? About two months? Two months, yeah. We haven't gone on a wedding anniversary yet. Honeymoon? A honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done a honeymoon yet, uh, just because we haven't really got the money at the moment. Um, okay. Place. So, yep. how does a married couple act? <laughs> we'll just be coupley. I mean, we've just married. Yeah, so, so just coupley. I'll just bit. hold your hand and. Won't uh, say cold things over the dinner table be, just yet. Yeah, be cutesy. No flirting with anyone else. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. Right back at you. Right back at you. Um, and and you're a model. Yeah, I'm a model. Okay. You're a. Yeah. It's a twist. You're what actually pregnant. Oh. A bit, fairly big twist no. for me, too. <laughs> yeah, a massive twist. Every time I um, like I walk into a room, people are like, oh, no. Yeah. I mean, come on, it's pretty damn hard. <laughs> yeah, oh, Like, they shouldn't have made us engaged. They should have just made us boyfriend and girlfriend, and we could have pulled that off. I see, that's... I just really don't want to leave. Like, we're, that means we're going to be up for eviction. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. <laughs> we're in deep crap. There's not that many places. Ben is safe to create his own alter ego. He's calling himself Brett. Brett? Next time he walks. You're Brett. Yeah. <laughs> You're Brett. Yeah, g'day. What is it? I'm Brett. <laughs> What's your name, love? Uh, what is it? Dahan. Dahan. Oh, no. <laughs> I won't remember that. <laughs> I'm Matt, mate. Young. Yeah, not too bad, brother. <laughs> that is hilarious. It is hard to keep up because it's. <laughs> It is an act. Oh <laughs> on voice? time. That's correct. Um, it doesn't hurt. Oh, when I, I used to be addicted to Inspector Gadget when I was. I love oh, yeah. Yes. And I Gadget. I used to do a voice. We go. We used to go. I'll get you next time. <laughs> and that does. That does hurt. <laughs> White underwear. <laughs> Tahan and Caleb have finally allowed their luggage back after being reprimanded by Big Brother for briefly crossing over into the safe house last night. How funny if I don't get all my underwear back. And there's a problem with the contents. Oh, what? What, what? the hell? <gasps> don't tell no me! No way! No, don't tell me! What's going on? Do not tell me that you don't have your underwear or your stuff. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? No! Are you close? Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way! No! 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 <laughs> oh, come on! Come on, big brother! Where did the time? No! Where did the time, big brother? Big brother! Let's go. Oh! Oh my God! Oh yeah! Are you serious? Really? <laughs> <laughs> what, did he, what did he say? What did he say? Oh, baby. 
Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh my god. Can I go talk to him? No. Did you just try talking to him? No, no, no. Oh, baby. Oh. I'm really bad because Kayla doesn't hit him. Even... He's laughing. He's just hilarious. <laughs> She's devastated about her clothes. <laughs> There's a perfect match. Well, you know Love it. that I'm In gonna play Cupid. You don't think Big Brother is going to do anything mean, do you? I hope not, don't be mean, please. Are you like usually like sort of lean, sort of pretty lean built? Yeah. Oh, just what I'm now, I suppose. Yeah. What a day. And we're gonna do. Yeah. Oh, so, what are you thinking of everyone so far? Um, um, yeah, Ed, I haven't really connected with him, but I, st I think we'd bond. Yeah, yeah, he's super, super nice. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be hard not to be flirty because he's really cute. Yeah. Like, it's just, it comes naturally yeah. to be all cute and flirty. <laughs> See, I like everyone. I can tell someone that, like, Heidi would get on my nerves, so. Like, she seems lovely, Heidi. Yeah. She's all very her. extroverted character. Yeah, she seems like, she seems lovely, but she seems like someone that would get on my nerves. What? Yeah. Jade. Yes. <laughs> Wait where you are, and right. Big Brother will get back to you shortly. Okay. Cut standard. The suspense is killing me. Poor Jade. She's so nervous. I can't imagine what she'll be like when she finds out it's actually her wedding day. Uh, now, what about the groom? Will there be any chemistry at all? They could be great together or not. Either way, his name's Drew, and we're going to meet him right after the break. I feel like I consider myself an honest person. Depends. I'd fit to get away with things. I might tell little lies to stay in the house. I can't see myself finding a wife in the house. I think that would be pretty far-fetched. Do I believe in love at first sight? Um, no. to Big Brother break out the confetti because wedding bells are about to chime. Earlier today, Jade entered the Big Brother house for the first time. She's a single girl from Ballina and has no idea she's about to have a shotgun wedding with a complete stranger. And we're moments away from seeing the happy couple meet for the very first time. So who's about to become Jade's house husband? It's Drew. <laughs> I'm Drew, I'm 24 and I study chemical engineering. I loved high school. I was school captain in my final year of school, like head prefect. I was a man of the people, I guess, but I didn't get anything done. After I finished school, I had a year off and then I applied to chemical engineering. I'm in the white coat, but there's no Bunsen burners, there's no green chemicals bubbling away. It's pretty much just me at a computer watching numbers tick by. to a very matrimonial big brother. Now, we've all heard of pre-wedding nerves. Well, Jade and Drew have a bad case of post-wedding anxiety. How did he propose? Yeah, I want to hear this. It was actually really simple. It was just in Byron. That's why we got married in Byron. But, but how did he do it? Just on the beach. And what did he say? Will you marry me? <laughs> and you guys yeah. get married how late afterwards? Oh, like... It was all really fast, actually. I think it was Did you like... rush it because you're having a baby? <laughs> yep, I'm pregnant. That's the choice. <laughs> how long have you guys been together, Jade? A year. A in year. total. Yeah. Yep. We literally just asked her Heidi, a simple question. Later. How did you propose? And she got up and walked away. <laughs> hey, bub. Oh. I didn't touch it. Uh, hey, I touched it last. Drew. How did you propose? Huh? Have you told anyone how you proposed? Okay, because I just sat on a beach in Byron because I forgot. Hey. In Byron. Byron. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? What? what? She was like, hey. And he was like, what? And she was like, she obviously was like, hey. So I was like, really simply just on a beach in Byron. Mm. <laughs> and then we got married like two months later or something, I don't know. Shotgun. <laughs> I'll do it. 
team lady. Oh, so she didn't answer. She's like, oh, it was really simple. It was on a date. Yeah. And we're like, so what happened? Like, tell us. And she's kind of like, what wandered off. We just have to watch the body language yeah. and the fiddling of the ring. Do you think that the couple are real? Uh, oh, actually, Heidi made me doubt it. Yeah. What, what's the rationale behind that? We've got a couple of things. We've got a couple of things we've all dotted. That, we've all dotted the point. I'm just, I'm just skeptical because I, I don't. I just. I think it's odd how they came in. Yeah. I want to say. I want to figure out like when their birthdays are and stuff. Like something that yeah, only yeah. you'd only. And know. No, they would have studied that for sure. No, but you can't. Like even if you did make it up, like there's some things that you can't. You can. You know. Pick you don't up ask on what what their parents' names are or what's. And well, no, I reckon they're legit. I really do. I think they're really legit too. I, 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 I definitely, I, I could definitely see them being legit. I, I, I just, I'm just skeptical, that's all. That cheeky guy. I don't want to have a crap. Oh, yeah. It'll keep going though. For the halfway housemates, showering is a team effort. It's not working. Did I break it? And for the safe housemates, it's a guaranteed source of entertainment. Take your time, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> How is he not cold? I would be freezing. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> oh, Ben, are you all right, Ben, darling? <laughs> See you back. Hi, halfway housemates. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, you guys, you got the raw deal, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. But, okay, but tell me. Is the halfway house really that bad to Han? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really grateful. I'm really appreciative. But, but it's not that great when you don't have clothes. No. No. And hard, to wear, hard to wear rocks, isn't it? <laughs> OK. Tully, how are you going without the internet? Um, it's actually been pretty difficult. I, it's, it's more that I just want to share what I'm doing with outside, and I know that's kind of already happening, but I want to be tweeting and, and, and Facebooking about it. Okay, Ka and Kayla, tell me about the beds. You've, there's been a reconfiguration oh, of beds, the, hasn't there? The beds are a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Why? I haven't had a one hour sleep since I've been in here. <laughs> Not one hour. Well, hardly, yeah. Apparently, I slept for like one hour last night, and that's all. <laughs> Just, was that because you were next to Xavier? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I didn't want to turn my back on him or my front on him, so I found a bit rude. <laughs> radio, radio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, well, I've got some big news for all of you. Are you ready? Oh. Okay, at the weekend, you will compete in the first ever Big Brother Showdown. There will be a series of games and challenges meant to test you all and you'll enter the Big Brother arena. Yes. It will become housemate versus housemate. Yeah. The winner, very importantly, the winner of Showdown will receive exclusive and extremely valuable house privileges. Now take it from me, guys, you really want to win. Got this. All right. And before I go, here's a taste of just one of the prizes. It's called the Presidential Suite. the halfway house, some of them could definitely handle a night or two in the presidential suite. Big Brother has given us the halfway house. He's given us instant... In the tub. Oh. The boys are just sitting down with camp chairs. <laughs> setting up shop. I might go and have a look. Oh, hot water. Are you ready? Yeah. I hope it's not too hot now. Yes. Oh, that's oh. Is this the first time you've ever given one of those to a girl? 
<laughs> like, Tahan, how long does it take to wash your body? Oh, she's still having a shower. She's still in the shower. Oh, okay. We get it, Tahan. You'll be right. Don't run it. Thank you. No worries. Are you going to come out to the gym? Yeah, I will. I'll swim. I'll make a guest appearance. I don't. I've never really. I, I, I don't go to gyms. Do you run? No. Do you want to do exercise? Oh, I would like to do the treadmill. Yeah, we'll put on some gym gear and we'll go out and do it. I'm doing it for the nerds. I have no idea. I think you're supposed to go alternating. I, 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 can't, I, I wouldn't be able to forward. Like that. Not at the same, not like that. Like that. Like you're pedaling a bike, but with your hands. I would like. Like that. Harder, harder, harder. Yeah. I, I don't really like this. <laughs> There's no gym in the halfway house, so gym equipment is anything you can find. You should be there when your legs are outstretched. Oh. Do they have yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. When you punch, you punch with those two knuckles. Now I want you punching like a girl, okay? Yeah. I don't want you punching like that. I want you to mean it, okay? Good. And high fives. Oh. Good job, thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. See, so next time, if someone's going to give you a hard time, yeah. you're going to know how to punch them, okay? Yeah. Well, what are you looking at, mate? <laughs> hey? I'll tear you down, mate. <laughs> hey? What have I made? What have I created? What have, what have you created? I'll tell you what you've created, mate. Someone who can't take his gloves off. <laughs> hang on, I got it, hang on. <laughs> While some of the safe housemates feel uneasy about their privileged conditions, Tim is enjoying the special treatment. We were lucky to be, like, in the full house, in the safe house, and um, we should just enjoy it while we've got it. And I'm not wanting to give them our things. I just think that we can break them. Like, I think that if we... If we just keep giving them, and um, we should just enjoy it while we've got it. And I'm, I'm not wanting to give them our things. I just think that we can break them. Like I think that if we, if we just keep giving them what we've got, then they're just gonna be able to survive. But if we start really denying them the food and whatever we've got, then the cracks will form faster, yeah. Oh, Tim, 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 we will break them. Now, picture this. Guy meets girl, guy proposes, they get married, move into a new house together. Sounds like a regular love story, except this is Big Brother, and we're about to see that entire romantic journey happen in a matter of minutes. So what will the newlyweds' task be? Will the other housemates be convinced? And what will happen if they're not? We'll meet the bride-to-be right after the break. Do I consider myself an honest person? Yes, absolutely. I'm a terrible liar. Honesty is a good thing to have. I mean, sometimes it can be hard. I have no objection to falling in love in the Big Brother house. It's not going to be something that I can help. If it happens, it will happen. If there's the man of my dreams in there, then awesome. I can tell our kids that I met him on Big Brother. <laughs> I would love it if other people fell in love in the Big Brother house. Imagine if they got married and I got to be bridesmaid. If you're there for 24-7 with someone, you can develop feelings and relationships. I have a type, usually alive and female. A brain, have to have a brain, have to be witty and intelligent. Easy going, loves a chat and um, not a head case. <laughs> so I like someone who can tan, who has olive skin and someone with hair. Basically I want to make love to someone that looks nothing like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You are at 
Big Brother's huge live special where the second part of the twist is about to play out not long now before we meet our two new housemates. And unbeknownst to them, just seconds before entering the house, they'll be plunged into an arranged marriage courtesy of the Reverend Big Brother. Now, before the arrival of our soon-to-be happy couple, let's go live to the house and see what the poor halfway housemates are up to. Out with you right now and pretend like it's... No, 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 no. I'm still not sure how they've got any sleep on those beds because they're very narrow or very short. <laughs> Do you think Caleb's actually sleeping in that bed? <laughs> I've got some big news for all of you. Are you ready? Okay, at the weekend, you will compete in the first ever Big Brother Showdown. There will be a series of games and challenges meant to test you all and you'll enter the Big Brother arena. Yes. It will become housemate versus housemate. The winner. Very importantly, the winner of Showdown will receive exclusive and extremely valuable house privileges. Now take it from me, guys, you really want to win. Got this. All right. And before I go, here's a taste of just one of the prizes. It's called the Presidential Suite. After the halfway house, some of them could definitely handle a night or two in the presidential suite. Big Brother has given us the halfway house. He's given us instant newlyweds. But the next part of the twist involves these three latecomers. Here's your first sneak peek. I'm Rohan. My girlfriend knows that I'm not capable of saying that I love her. I am also unable to express the way I feel a lot of the time. Not to say that I'm narcissistic, but do I think I'm smart? Yeah, I'd like to say so. I tend to strategize a lot in my day-to-day -day life. I guess you could say that I'm completely a product of my generation. I'm Katie. And I'm Lucy. The two of us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like L3. <laughs> we get judged because of our blonde hair, fake tan, fake eyelashes, but there's definitely more to us than that. We Thanks. like nice people. We don't like bitchy girls. We're definitely glass half full, full kind, kind of girls. girls. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see what happens when the latecomers go in, whenever that might be, and it won't be as straightforward as you might think. And remember, whenever you want to check in on what's happening at the house or for tickets to any of the live shows, go to bigbrother.com.au. Now, despite recent twists and turns, for now it seems like the house is settling into some sort of rhythm. That's it from me, but let's go back to Jade and Drew in the honeymoon suite after the biggest day of their lives. They've been living... Jade, meet yes. Drew. <laughs> Drew, meet Jade. Hi, Jade. How you going? <laughs> Drew, there's no headwear in the diary room. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Big Brother has chosen the two of you to attempt the most daring trick Big Brother has concocted since the doors of this house opened 12 years ago. <laughs> Drew, which city do you live in? I live in Melbourne. Jade, which city do you live in? I don't know if you'd call it a city, but Ballina. <laughs> it's, um, it's like, do you know where Byron Bay is? Yes, yeah, so It's like 20 coast. minutes south of Byron. That's cool. Yeah. How well do the two of you know each other? Uh, I've never well, seen you in my life. <laughs> So the two of you have never met before today. Mm -mm. That is a shame. Because in a few minutes time, 
The diary room door will open. Hey, boyfriend. And Big Brother will introduce you to the other housemates as Big Brother's first ever married couple. Oh. Oh, all right. Where's my ring? Yeah, true. Where's my ring? No, you. Where's Who's my ring? <laughs> housemates. All right. In the box beside you is something all married couples need. A wedding ring? A wedding ring. Drew, uh, would you care to do the honours? I will. Uh, Jade, yes, I only just met you, but uh, would you do the honour of being my faux wife? I would. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I totally had it sized before I came in. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, this is going to fall off, but that's okay. I clean out my savings. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you go, I'm married. Always wanted to be married. How easy as that? Oh, yep. Yeah, I'll put it on. Let's, let's do it properly. You said I do, right? <laughs> prune up, no prune up. Big Brother has provided your rings, but the rest of your love story is yours to create. Okay. How you met, where you met, where you live. The clock is ticking, housemates. Big Brother suggests you do what many married couples don't and start talking. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes. Now, all right, let's try and keep it as simple as all possible. Right, right. So we've been married for like not long. Should I go higher? Huh? November, but... But you told us your birthday yeah. before. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not allowed to say things like last names. We're not allowed to say... Or is that mainly just birthdays. the auditions? I think it's too much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's so many sass on us, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Very. <sighs> but it's, it's pretty hard. Oh, it's also, because so we're so... And I can't... Like, oh, yeah, I keep playing with this. I keep playing with it and it's so big. Yeah. Like it keeps it's falling off. If you're all right with it, we'll just keep the beds together. Because people can, like, if they can't yeah, yeah, yeah. do anything, it'll yeah, yeah. be way too hard. I didn't think of that. And what about um, when you proposed? Was everyone like, what the hell? Was that in Byron? Yeah, that or? was a shock because I didn't tell them. Apart from asking her mum. And so did you just ask her randomly like, in Byron? What do you mean randomly? Like, did you just all of a sudden go, oh, I'm going to propose to her no, today? No, like I... Was... Or you'd planned it? No, yeah, I, I talked about yeah, it. I, was planning, I, had a, I had the ring already. How much did you spend on the ring? It's pretty fast. I was like 15 grand. <laughs> no, it what? was it? Yeah. Heidi. Are you joking? Can mm. you marry me? When you decide to divorce her in five years' time? Oh. 15 grand. I ain't that even... Is that's no, see, that's a lot of money. Well, I sold my car and... You sold, yeah. Like, it's... You can, liqui you can liquidate it. that easier than you'd think. Like, I did save, obviously. I mean, just... Yeah. Woo! So far, so good. It's making me very nervous, so I have to say it out. Coming up, a secret room will be revealed. Brand new housemates will show their faces for the first time, and you will see plenty more action from the, from the house. That's all happening when Big Brother returns. to Big Brother's live special. Now, back at the house, Jade and Drew are still playing the role of husband and wife, may I say, pretty well so far. And the other housemates are starting to miss the things they were wedded to on the outside. What are three things that you, you would find really, like you're finding really hard to live without? Like, like possessions, not actual Thanks. people. Oh. I could essentially oh, say nothing. Like, okay, so for you it would be your hairdryer. My, my hairdryer, my phone, <laughs> and hot water. Hot water, yeah. That's fair enough, that's good. What about yeah. you? Pretty sweet. Bleach? Yeah. Yeah. My teeth think. <laughs> my blender. Oh, I love a good yeah. blend in the like morning. Oh, I love blending, yeah. Anything blended is awesome. Yeah. I'd say gym, yeah. surfing. Um, but there's no buns and burners, there's no green chemicals bubbling away. It's pretty much just me at a computer watching numbers tick by. 
I'm not a hipster, I'm not a gym rat, I'm not a nerd. I'm just a combination of probably all those, those three things. I'm just a social chameleon. So the love of my life is Fiona. I'm not gonna lie, she's been around the block a few times. She's had a few owners, including my own mother, but she's a pro. She's my 1989 Ford Laser. No one else can drive it. I don't know how. Keys out. Still going. That's why I love her. Treated it pretty badly, like if it was an actual girlfriend, it would have walked out a million times by now. Currently my relationship status on Facebook is single, so I'm single. I can't see myself being married in the next five years, no, no. Unless something drastic happened, yeah. He is so much like Keanu Reeves, it's freaky. Now we've met Jade, we've met Drew. Let's see what happens when they meet each other for the first time. Hi. Hey. Hey, I'm Jade. Hey, What's your name? Drew. Drew, nice to meet you. Me too. Are you excited? I am. You nervous? What's up? How nice is the diary room? Oh, yeah, a lot of purple. Don't like purple? No. <laughs> Are you here to welcome? Welcome. Yeah. Um, no, I just got here. Just then. Oh, did you? Yeah, like literally like oh, three right, minutes okay. before you. Oh, sorry. I thought you so, had a welcome wagon. No, no good. So you're in I the haven't deep. met anyone except you. Oh, cool. Hi. <laughs> Drew. Jane. Uh, Jade. Jade. With a D, yeah. Jade. Drew. So nice. Ooh. Yes, big brother. Welcome to the big brother house. Thank you. Good to be here. Jade. Yes. Meet Drew. <laughs> Drew. Meet Jade. Hi, Jade. How you going? <laughs> Drew, there's no headwear in the diary room. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> Big Brother has chosen the two of you to attempt the most daring trick Big Brother has concocted since the doors of this house opened 12 years ago. <laughs> Drew, which city do you live in? I live in Melbourne. Jade, which city do you live in? I don't know if you'd call it a city, but Ballina. <laughs> it's um, it's like, do you know where Byron Bay is? Yeah, sort of. It's like 20 minutes south of Byron. That's cool. Yeah. How well do the two of you know each other? Uh, I've never well, seen you in my life. <laughs> so the two of you have never met before today. Mm -mm. 